Hello. Let us start making the jigsaw puzzle and PowerPoint. First of all, I will go to insert shapes, then rectangle shape. I will hold the shift key to have the square shape. So this is the square. After that, I will go to insert again, insert shape. I will choose now the oval shape. Okay. I will put it like this with holding shift to have a circle. Then I will place it exactly in the middle. After that, duplicate it using control D for duplicating. I will place one also in the middle down here. Now I will hold this circle with the rectangle using the shift key. Go to merge shapes from the shape format and I will go to union. Then I will hold the shift key again and I will select the other oval. I will go to merge shapes again, but now I will choose subtract. Now I have the first piece of my puzzle. How to make the second piece? Go to control D to duplicate it. Place it here. After that, go to home, arrange, then align, sorry, rotate, and rotate it 90 degrees. This will be the second one. See, this is the second one. Now, again, duplicate it with Control D. I need one to be here. Go to home, arrange, rotate, and this time you will rotate it left 90 degrees. One more time, Control D. I need one more. Go to rotate, then this time you will rotate it. Flip horizontal, no. Flip vertical, no. This should be like this. So let's try it like this. Then I will go to arrange, rotate it again. Should be fit like this vertically now. So now it is fine. I have the full uh, puzzle here, but I need the picture. Insert any picture from your device. So I have here a picture for a bird in my desktop. This is the bird picture. Now I need the picture to be exactly square. So I will go to crop. From the aspect ratio, I will choose the square one one. So this is the exact square, crop it. Now go and put it in the beginning, resize it to be exactly the same size. Now I have the same size. What I will do, I will keep a copy here. Then I will make another copy, duplicate it with Control D. I have one here. Take the first piece, put it here. And don't forget to go to shape format and keep it forward. This is my first puzzle. I want to cut it. How? Press on the image, hold shift key, press on the shape, then go to shape format, merge shapes and go to interest. Enter, enter set, sorry. So intersect shapes, I will get the first one. Again, duplicate this with Control D. Then go to the second one, put it. Shape format, bring it forward. Then again, go to press on the picture. Shift, press the shape, shape format, and choose the fourth one, intersect. I will have the second piece. Now again, duplicate it. Bring the, the third piece, bring it forward, keep it exactly here, okay? Then press on the picture, shift, press on the shape, shape format, again, intersect. It's done now. This is the last piece, should be here. Bring it forward to see that this is the exact location. Press on the picture, shift, press on the shape, 
shape format and choose intersect now I have my full picture what I will do now I need place to keep my puzzle in what I will do I will go to insert shape go to rectangle uh, hold the shift key and keep precising your square keep the square here now what I will do I will keep them like this so just put one here one there not in the correct order okay I want the user now to put them in order in this square what I will do first step go to insert shapes rectangle keep a rectangle here or a square after that this square change the transparency of it format shape then fill transparency keep it like this for example after that this square name it as wrong go to home select selection pan and name it as wrong for example I will insert another one for the correct answer so the first correct answer that should be here is which one is this okay then fill it with any other color keep it as correct then after that change the transparency format shape change it so I can see it now it is fine now what I will do I will go to animation now I am in the correct what I will do when I press on the correct one I need this to come here the picture to come here and the second correct answer to be moved where so it should be like this let us change it or let us see what will be the correct one so it will be like this I think so the first correct answer should be this one right so I will make them like this again okay this should be the correct one I will bring it here okay keep it like this so the first correct one is this now go to add animation I will have line animation now the second correct one after this I need to place this one this is the second one so move it to the left okay go to the animation pan now move it exactly to here this okay when treasure when I click on the correct answer move it then after that I want this picture to come here in the first uh, part so again add an animation but for which one for the picture that means go to so go to the selection and select this picture this is the picture add animation for it should be line animation now where I want it to be I want it to be here so moving it to the left okay when I will move it to the left I will put a treasure when I press on the correct answer so where I want it to move I want it to move here let us try it together now so when I press on this one the correct answer will move here then this should be here where is it with the previous so this should be with previous go again yes but uh oh this should be on the back so go to shape format and bring it backward anytime so look at it should be backward and all these should be so this should be backward now let us do it again now it's correct right now this should be the second one okay go to the control of the animation now this is the first one we have done now what will happen after that the correct answer will come here right so after the correct answer coming here I need it to move here 
what I will do, I will go to this image. So this is, is this, then add animation, then add animation to be aligned. You will move it to the left. So effect option to the left. When I click on the correct answer, then what will happen? I will move it to be here. Okay, now I should do something. The correct answer should move now, should move to this image. That means now go to the correct answer. Add an animation should be line. Now I need to go up. When I click on the correct answer. Now look at it. I needed to go up, but it was here. Right? So this is on a click, and this should be with a previous. Let us try it. First one is correct, it will come. Second one, excellent. Now let us go to this. When I move the correct answer to this image, I need to move the correct answer first to the last one. So again, the correct answer, I will have another animation to move to the left side. When I click on the correct answer, that means where I want to move it now, it will be moved here to the left side. And it was where? It was here. So from here to there, I will move it. After that, in the same time, what I will do, I will go to this picture. So this is the picture. I will move it here. So again, add animation. It should be line animation. Okay. And should be to the left when I click on the correct answer. So this is the one. It will be moved from here to there okay so this is the one here after that make this with a previous and when i click on the correct answer again should move this image which is the last image this is image 19 so make a line again should be to the left side Okay, go to the animation pan, treasure, correct. Then this should be on a click of the correct answer. Where it should be, it should be here. Now let us try this. This is the first one, okay. This is the second one, okay. This, fine. After that, I should get this. So this is the image. Now what I want to do, the transparency of this should be 100. So I don't want to see this. And also this should be 100. Now see what will happen. Uh oh, there is an outline. I don't want outline here. So no outline. And also this without outline. Again. So which one is this? This is this one. After that, no, no, this is the one. Then, no, yes, this is correct. Excellent job.